Weathers91 here. This is the second video in our series looking at obtaining the Lucent Moths within the Throne World to obtain the Lepidopterus Triumph. If you haven't seen the first video in this series, there'll be a link to that for you on the right hand side of the screen now. As we're in week 2, we'll be able to obtain Moths number 3 and 4. You'll find these in the Alluring Curtain and the Temple of the Cunning respectively. Let's jump in. Moth number three is located within the Alluring Curtain. To access this moth, head over to the right hand side of the Quagmire from where you spawn in. Before passing through to the fluorescent canal, turn right and hug the outside of the building. Head across the small platforms and follow the path down until you pass through into the alluring curtain. When you enter the alluring curtain, keep left. As you head across the pillar, you'll see a number of hive. Feel free to kill these, or alternatively, ignore them. Acquire deep sight and look at the column outside to your left. Platforms will spawn, allowing you to climb to the top of the column. Make your way across the suspended platform and the other column before dropping down to the left. Jump across the gap to the next area and then turn round. You'll be able to acquire a further deep sight resonance node. After turning round, off to your left you'll see some further platforms have spawned. Use these to climb up to the top of the column. before jumping across the swinging platform and dropping down onto the column to your left. Head up the stairs and on reaching the top, keep left and head through the doorway. This will bring you into the area where the third moth is located. If the moth is available, you'll see that a yellow bar wizard has spawned. Here Elena, moth keeper. Kill the yellow bar wizard to reveal the moth. The fourth moth is located within Temple of the Cunning. You can access this moth from the spawn in at the Quagmire by heading down through the Temple of the Wrathful. From the spawn, head straight across the quagmire. Turn left to drop down towards Temple of the Wrathful. As you enter Temple of the Wrathful, keep to the right, shooting the nodes on the wall to light the path in front of you. When you encounter the first enemies, feel free to kill them or keep to the right. In either event, you want to head through the portal. From the portal, head straight ahead. Follow the wall round to your right. Around the left hand side of the circular building and onto the bridge.
follow the path down into the Temple of the Cunning. Take the greenlit passage to the left. Drop down and head through the broken hive wall. As you enter the next room, you'll see the moth on a column towards the center. And there you have it, Moths numbers 3 and 4 in week 2 of season 16, helping you towards your Lepidopterous triumph. If you found the video helpful, please like and subscribe, as that would really help me out. If you have any other questions relating to the Witch Queen or Destiny 2, feel free to swing by my Twitch channel. I'm usually live a couple of nights a week and most weekends, there's a link for that in the description below. If on the right hand side of the screen you can see a link to either week 3 or all 10 moths, you can click that and obtain the rest of your Lucent moths now. Otherwise that's it from me, thanks for watching.